If you want to get into the real game, but you don't have time to be recording yourself all the time, well, I'm going to show you a really amazing strategy that you can use to create a real just like this one using animated GIFs by using Adobe Creative Cloud Express and Adobe Rush. So let's dig in. Maximize your productivity, you want to create a template that allows you to have some content for your reel, and then you'll go in and add your GIFs. So we're going to go click on this plus symbol here, and we see this drop down menu up here. I'm going to select Instagram story because essentially that's the same format size as a reel. And if you are new to this and you don't have any branded templates on Creative Cloud Express, you have all these great options here on the far left to choose from. You can select one of these templates and work your way to make it branded and customized to your needs. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make this branded to my company. So I click here on the background and I see this edit background appear and I have all these color options. So I'm just going to start with one color here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding some of the layers and components to my brand. I can add my logo. So when I click here on the logos, I can add certain types of assets and logos that I have included in here. And then I can just start arranging my document. Now, to make this process even easier, you know, there are certain ways that the Instagram feed will crop your content. So what I've done is I have an asset inside my libraries that is a really great go by for me. So I created this little graphic here that gives me these dimensions. And so anytime I am creating some of my content for reels, I go and upload this so that I kind of know where my content is going to lay between the IG reel news feed and then the actual feed itself. So I know this little square is what will people see on their actual feed. And then once they look through the real feed, then they'll see more content and then the full view. This is a really great way for me to make sure that nothing's going to get cropped off. That's essential. OK, so what I've done now is I've arranged my template in a certain ways. So what I did was that I use between icons that so you can go here on the far left and find your icons or my patterns, which I uploaded as an asset from my libraries. So that way I have everything in one place and I'm not spending hours trying to find my content. And then you can go in and have some text, your placeholder text, because this is what you're going to use to create a template. And then anytime that you're going to go and add a new GIF or a new reel with a GIF, this is where you go and select and you update your copy. What I've done to make this even more interesting is that I actually added some animation element. So you click here on the far right and I added some typewriter animation so that it animates the text a little bit better. I recommend it having more of a feel for the typewriter because it's easier to understand. I double check my dimensions and as you can see, all of my content stays within this area that I want it to be the most important content. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this as a template. You need to click on the very top right where you see share. Click on make a template and you'll get this pop up window where you can fill out all your information for your template. And I really recommend if you have a team or you have other collaborators, add any note as to what the purpose of this template is and make sure you save it to your appropriate library. Now comes the fun part. You want to add your animated videos and convert them to a GIF, right? So all you need to do is just go to your home page on the desktop app and click on convert to GIF. It's going to give you a pop up window where you're going to upload the image or the video that you want to create a GIF for and you just browse your device and upload that. So I've uploaded my video. I used one of the blooper reels from when I did my LinkedIn recording. And of course, I have the funny faces. And what I really recommend is downloading the large version. It just gives you the best quality. And you can select what type of dimensions and sizes that you want for these animated GIFs. And then all you do is click on download and now you can start using these. You can upload to Giphy or wherever you want to use these for. But now we're going to jump over into Adobe Rush and I'm going to show you how you can bring Adobe Rush and Creative Cloud Express together to create these reels with an animated GIF and some music to make it really stand out. Open Adobe Premiere Rush and click on create a new project. Then you're going to go into your folder and access the GIF video template that we just created. So I am opening the one that I had with some of the copy and then I'm going to grab this 
awesome GIF and I'm gonna go in and select them and click create. A couple of things that you wanna do before you click on create is make sure you give it a project name that'll really help you with organization. And if you wanna sync it to your Creative Cloud documents, that's super helpful. So if you are going to work on this on your phone from the desktop and kind of transfer off and on, this is really helpful. And I typically select copy media so that it just copies to my current device, which is my desktop. So I'm gonna click on create. So now that we have our content here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of work with the timeline layer. So I'm gonna click on this little control track over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the video that we have, the video GIF, and I can kind of just scrub over here, you kind of see how it's moving. So all I need to do now is select my little GIF. So I wanna make sure that it's selected and I'm going to make it smaller. So that way it kind of just fits within these dimensions. As you can see here, my little animated GIF doesn't extend all the way to the end. So you can try and see if you can extend it as long as you can, but if you didn't have such a long video, it's only gonna extend to the length of your video. So mine was three seconds. One thing that you can do is a little hack. You're gonna duplicate it. Click on duplicate at the very bottom with the plus symbols. And you can kind of see that I'm dragging this now. I'm gonna drag it right next to where my other GIF ended. So it kind of restarts the whole process. One of the things that you can do if you're wanting to make sure it just kind of ends to five seconds long, I can click on the drag element here and kind of just shorten that GIF. And it kind of just repeats the entire motion all over again. You can also make your background graphic a lot longer and you can do the same process by duplicating it. Now, if you do create it where I have this animated text and you just want to keep the background area where you're kind of keeping the static text, I don't recommend re-repeating the animated text. It's just a little too much visually. So you can duplicate this and go over to where you actually have your entire text showing up and I have my at mentioned over here and I can just either drag to crop it to that little section so that it just replace that section. Or you can click on the scissor tool which will allow you to split your clips very easily. Now I want to add some music. So you can get really creative. You can do a voiceover. So if you wanna do a voiceover, you can click on this recording icon and it'll pull up your microphone and it'll give you a prompt three, two, one, and you can start recording. But for this one, I want to add some music. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the plus symbol here. I'm gonna click on audio. They have a ton of audio, soundtracks, sound effects, loops. So these are all the different types of audios that you can use. So I went into the soundtracks and I wanted to have a reggaeton, of course, Latina. I wanted to add some rhythm to my content. So I have this really great free asset that you can use with Creative Cloud Express, when you actually have Creative Cloud Express, Adobe Rush is included in your subscription. So this is a huge benefit. And if you have Creative Cloud, you also get this included anyways. So these are all great assets that you can use royalty free. So I love this Reggaeton Beach. I'm gonna select that and I'm gonna click on add. And now it adds it to my timeline. One of the things that I wanna encourage you to try to do is anytime you're adding sound or music, try to align the beats of your music to your movement or your type. This will create more of a synchronicity and it'll just really emphasize your reels and it'll make them stand out even more. So how you wanna do this is select your music timeline or your just sound that you're adding. You can go into this expand audio format so you'll kind of see these nice waves and as they start to peak up, you can always drag this element, go into the little equal sign here on the far right and you can move it up so that you can actually see a little bit more of your timeline. And what you can do is go and try to sync some of these beats as they kind of go down and up. That means you're gonna hear a boom, especially with the music. Uh, con reggaeton, you kind of hear the tune, tune, you know, type music. So as you kind of hear these beats go up, I can try and sync this with the way that my hands are going. And in this little GIF that I have, there's moments where I am clapping. So I can try to adjust my music to align with these beats. This will create a better experience for your audience. Now, one of the things that would be really helpful is, let's say you want to have your music ramp up. You can click on the very far right under your audio. You can select auto volume and that'll really help. 
auto duck also helps if you have a voice overlay. So if you want to do another element where you're doing a voice overlay, which I've done for some of my reels, I literally read what I have on the text then what will happen is that it'll act automatically duck your music down so that your voice is at the top. So to recap, I showed you how you are going to start with a new project on Adobe Rush. You added your assets, which was your GIF, your animated GIF that you created inside Creative Cloud Express on the desktop. And we also added this template graphic that we created as a template. And then we actually created a specific graphic for this for our Reels content. We use the animated text feature inside Creative Cloud Express to make this more engaging. I added my at Nikte Creative Design so people knew where to find me. And then I used some of the free royalty free music available inside Premiere Rush and added that to my timeline. I tried to adjust some of the beats to my content and I duplicated some of these GIFs so that I could repeat the process over and over, and it was a little longer than three seconds. And that is how you can create your own reels with a GIF using Creative Cloud Express and Adobe Rush. If this video was helpful for you, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and share this with your family and friends, and especially other business owners who are wanting to level up their reel game, but don't have all the time in the world to be recording themselves. This is gonna be a game changer for them. Until next time.